what is up guys it's a wanted turtle and today we're doing a Yu-Gi-Oh opening we're going with some more savage strike we've been on a bit of a cold streak after hitting so many phantasmes we've yet to see another one but we're going we're not going to quit we're doing some more and uh yeah we'll talk about uh a lot of the stuff that's going to be going on in the Yu-Gi-Oh scene um and but let's just get right into the opening all right guys Will today be the day that we start pulling some more Phantasmes? Although I'll settle for... Actually, no, not settle. I'll be, I'll be thrilled to hit one of those Pot of Extravagances. Uh, it's another secret rare that we have yet to see at all. Well, it's not that surprising considering how many... We have like four Psychic Wielders, four Phantasmes. Um, so let's see if we can't continue that crazy luck. In this set so um, a lot of cool stuff going on in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Infinity Chase is a bit of a dud, Speed Duel was even a bigger dud um, however there's the Dark Neo Storm set, a new set I think it was Rising Rampage just got announced uh, so I put in an order for some pre-order stuff so looking forward to that and uh, Dual Power has been doing a couple of those and uh, so all the sets are really cool uh, just a lot going on um, a lot going on in Pokemon uh, man, just a lot of stuff love to, to make some great content for this channel. So thank you to everyone that's been enjoying the videos and supporting the channel. Uh, definitely whenever you hit that like button, it, again, it kind of helps help us branch out and find new viewers so we can continue to grow that community. So really appreciate that, guys. All right, so for our first pack, we have a Performa, Cla Performa Pal Clay Breaker, Solomon Great Paro, a Guard Dragon Garmeet. Sorry, that's pretty good. And then a Elemental Brave Neos, super rare to begin with a Guard Dragon Cataclysm. Uh, then we have uh, the Iron Sea, Red Rising Dragon, and ooh, also a Promenesis. I'm not sure how to say that to be honest. And then a Foxer. Okay, as far as commons go, that was a very good start to this opening. All right, let's see. We have a Solomon style, Sharanui style Solemnity, Update Jammer, Sharanui Swordmaster, Orchestrator Release, and then a Valkyrie Vierte, and then Apple of Enlightenment. So we got anything else? Wicked. All right, on to pack number three. We have a Time Thief Redoer, Shirinui Sword Saga, Gar Dragon Core Awakening, and then a TG Tank Grub, followed by a, another <laughs> another Brave Neos, just the one we had two packs ago. All right, this card's not bad. The uh, Fire Charmer Ablaze, and then Time Thief Regulator, Justica, Justicia, and... Um, and, oh, okay. And one other thing is, uh, if you guys haven't seen the video where we show off some of the PSA cards that we got very recently, definitely go check that out. Um, those, a lot of the cards I got were like just so nostalgia for me, or uh, very nostalgic for me. Uh, cards that were either from the show or just kind of uh, meant something to me growing up when I was just playing the the card game back in the day. And so another super rare for this pack. And let's see. All right, so a bit of a slow start, guys. We only have a couple <laughs> relevant commons, and then that's basically it. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Uh, just some epic cards, uh, cards from Blue Eyes. To be honest, I didn't really collect Blue Eyes because uh, I got into it during Metal Raiders. Although I don't mind that just because the Blue Eyes set was so weak. It reminds me of this Speed Duel set, actually. Um, which is kind of why I do have some hope for Speed Duel, just because maybe that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh is. They start out really weak and begin the power creep. Um, but yeah, there's some Metal Raiders cards, but some some Blue Eyes cards more for kind of like nostalgic from the show. And then stuff like the God cards. And uh, yeah, just go check it out. I'm really happy with the cards I managed to pick up um, for my start to kick off my Yu-Gi-Oh graded collection. All right, we got a Prank Kid Roxy's Shinobu, Shinobi Necro. 
Unisong Tuning, and then a Guard Dragon Pisty. All right, so, so far, no crazy, no good rares, and or one just okay rare, and but however, no ultras yet. Uh, for ultra rare slot, let's see, we, we like the World Legacy, Guard Dragons, World Legacy, some combination of those words, uh, the Borload Savage Dragon, and I think that's basically it for the great ultra, the very good ultras. We got Neo Space Connector, Lost Time. Oh, I actually don't think I have many of these. Sure, new Sword Master, and then a Spectral Sword Shade. Ah, it's been so. I feel like we, we were so spoiled with all the Phantasmes, and now I'm like, it's like, oh come on, it, it's probably gonna be right here, right? We, we've 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 missed on like three packs or three boxes in a row, even though that's probably not even. That's probably like by in every regard expected. Just. Uh, yeah, we've been just spoiled so badly. We got a six samurai, prank kid Roxy's, and then a thunderclap monk. Not a fan of that card. And TG Gru Screw Serpent. Incantation Inception. Ooh, another prom Promenesis. And then a Red Rising Dragon and Cyburst Converter. Okay, so um for all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, what are you looking forward to most in the near future? Let me know in a comment down below or about something that, um, whether it's recently or uh, uh, whether as long as it's a recent set that you would like to see opened and I will see what I can do. As long as it's not like vintage, uh, I'm sure I can make it happen. So we got a Kai Sky Striker Ace Kaina. The Sky Strikers are... I feel like they're pretty cool, but this one's a little busy, and then the colors is kind of hard to see what's going on. They remind me of a an anime that was not that great. Of uh, I think it was Infinite Stratos, kind of like how they're like mech suits, but not a lot of uh, but like I don't know. I think you know what I mean. All right, so we're our, oh man, this is going fast. We only got three packs left. Let's, we haven't we haven't pulled the ultra rare. We haven't seen our secret rare yet, and we have gotten shafted as far as secret rares go before. So hopefully we do get one. We got a time thief redoer, Shirinui Swordmaster, and then a Shirinui Squire. Man, what is going on here? This is like the weakest box yet. Not even a Solomon Great Sunlight Wolf. Oh, maybe this will be our last Savage Strike, guys, just because it's been it's been a little rough. All right, let's see. Time Thief Bezel Ship, Orchestrated Release, Time Thief Flyback, Uni Song Tuning, Guard Dragon LP. Okay, so we definitely will not get a Ultra and a Secret on this side of the box. All right, let's get a Secret. I guess we'll forfeit the Ultra Rare slots in lieu of that Secret Rare. We'll forgive the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Pole Gods. It's given when it's a phantasme. We got an orchestrated release, time thief flyback, unisong tuning. Oh my gosh. This is like the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. The worst luck we've had. Oh man. Alright guys, let's let's double check. Alright. Super rare. Super rare. Super rare. Super rare. Super rare. Super rare. Super. Super. Super, super, super. Oh my gosh. We did not even get an ultra rare, let alone our secret rare for this side of the box. That was terrible. Hopefully the other half can redeem this box, although that's a tall order for, I don't know. Other than Phantasmay, that, that's a tall order. Um, but there you guys have it. Very disappointing opening. Uh, however, we'll, we'll see if we can't rebound next time when we open up the rest of that box. Um, as always, despite even though this wasn't a very good good opening, uh, I would have greatly appreciate if you hit that like button down below. It does help the channel out, and um, so thanks for all the support, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.